Coach Dan Day, head football coach at St. Joseph's College, joining us for this week's edition of the Daily Dose. Coach, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Coach, 39-27 loss to Missouri Science and Technology on the road. Overall impressions, especially how the defense kept you in the ball game, forcing turnovers in the second quarter and third quarter as you made a, a big run late. Yep. Um, the, the, the biggest thing you take out of the game, and we talked about it on Sunday, is um, I'm unbelievably proud of the kids, the way they play. I mean, the, the heart that they put on the field, the effort they put on the field, the way that they played. Um, losing is never, ever your goal. And I'll be the first one to tell you, you don't want to come out with a moral victory because that means you didn't win on the field. Um, but I will say how proud I was of uh, the energy and the focus on the sidelines as far as those kids believed until the very, very end that we were going to find a way, you know, and, and that's something you can't teach. That's something you can't coach. That's something that has to come from within. And the fact that they had that given the circumstances on Saturday night, um, that's exciting moving forward as long as we can keep that attitude, keep that mentality. Uh, speaking of moving forward, how has practice been the last couple of days as your team rebounds from the loss? Yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, these guys are, are interesting, you know. Um, I don't worry about them after a loss. They come back focused. They come back hungry. We practice so much better. Um, our meetings are a lot, uh, you know, more crisp in every aspect. So I don't worry about it much after a loss. You know, it's the big part is um, we've got to be able to handle success. You know, I'll tell you, yesterday was one of the best practices we've had. So today, you know, how do you come back? And that's something we talk to the kids about, and that's a big message for us: is let's do a great job. You're gonna. By the time you go on Saturday, that game has already won or lost by what you've done throughout the week. So um, big focus, and the kids are doing a great job and staying grounded and, and working for the next win. Speaking of the next win, you hopefully it's this Saturday as you travel to Quincy. Quincy University always seems to get up to play the Pumas. No question. And, and it seems to be a developing rivalry there. How do you approach that with your players as a team certainly believes that we're their rival? Yeah, and, and, and any time you play a game like that and a team like that, you know, that has that belief, you know you're going to get their best shot. And that's the, the biggest thing for us is, you know, talking all week long, handle our business, handle what the Pumas have to do. Um, you know, because you look at Saturday night in our loss, uh, we didn't take advantage of our own opportunities. So we lost that game ourselves. Uh, hats off to Missouri s &T, the way they played um, and not take, you know, absolutely anything from Coach Fenwick. Um, but I feel like our guys left some, some points and opportunities on the board where that's our focus all week long is take care of us, take care of the Pumas, uh, making sure you know St. Joe's goes out and does everything we can to put ourselves in position to win that football game, knowing full and well that you're going to get Quincy's absolute best shot. Coach, thank you for your time. This week's edition of the Daily Dose. Thank you very much, Kenny.